Welcome to the Retail Hero Store Operations Manager tutorial. In this series of videos, we will be covering the primary features used by managers and administrators to run the store. We will discuss common store configuration settings, establish departments and categories, and set up your suppliers, taxes, currencies, and tenders. We will review the modules used to create and manage customers, cashier accounts, purchase orders, and physical inventory counts. This tutorial will also describe how to manage your security, generate reports, and perform other manager tasks. One of the first things to do when setting up a new store is to set up the store configuration. Click on File Configuration or click the Configuration icon on the menu bar. This area is used to define some of the high-level store policies and operating procedures. The Store tab contains store name and addressing information that will be used on purchase orders, reports, and labels. It is important to fill out this area to the best of your ability before operating your store. The Ordering tab contains parameters that relate to some of the special order types in RMS. These settings provide some of the default values when requiring a deposit for layaways or work orders. The other fields hold expiration dates specifying the number of days after its creation that an order expires. The Inventory tab specifies the way store operations will update the costs of inventory received and determine which item price to display at the point of sale. When an item is received through a purchase order or inventory transfer, RMS provides three options for recalculating the item cost. None, where the cost is not updated, last cost, which uses the last cost the item was received at, or weighted average, which calculates a cost based on the combined costs of all items divided by the number of items. In the price calculation portion of the screen, select Use Minimum Price to have the system calculate the lowest possible price for the item in a transaction. Use Level, if it exists, will set the price based on item price levels if those have been set up for the store. Finally, the price can be determined by prioritizing in the order of Quantity Discount, Level, Sale, then Buy Down. The Options tab contains many of the settings that control how the system behaves. It is very important that the system administrator read and understand these settings. Each folder can be clicked and expanded to show various true or false settings. Use the arrow keys to move down the list. This will cause a description of the setting to appear on the right-hand side of the screen. For even more detail on these settings, push the Help button to view the Store Operations Online Help Guide. The Multi-Store tab only relates to headquarters environments with multiple stores. In a single store environment, this number is always set to zero. The Accounts tab contains settings for customers with credit accounts. Choose the day of the month that your accounts close their billing cycle, and choose a default account type that customers are created with. Store operations can auto-generate account numbers for new customers. Use this setting to determine the next number that is generated. The Sales Tax tab is used to define the store's method of taxation and tax schedule. The method of taxation used in the United States and Canada is tax exclusive, which calculates the tax on top of an item's retail price. VAT, tax inclusive taxation, is used when the tax is built into the item price. This method is not commonly used in North America. Assigning a tax schedule on a per-item basis allows each item in the store to have a particular tax combination assigned directly to the item and is the most common tax schedule type for physical retail locations. Assigning tax on a per-customer basis is more common when the customer's address or other attributes determine their tax schedule. This is often used in web stores where shipping may be to different states or provinces. The Tender tab is where you can choose the default tender that change is given in and the amount of days from issue that a voucher expires. Finally, the Accounting tab is used to specify what accounting software you are using and to configure RMS to export information to that program. The Captions button in the bottom left of the configuration window is used to define the titles of the custom fields that are found within Customer, Item, and Supplier records. Click OK to save your changes.